everybody, I'm Sabrina Casas and I am a Community Partner Specialist with the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. I would like to thank you for joining me today with, for our virtual uh, troop session. I'm really excited to get things started, but before we do anything, we always have to start with our Pledge of Allegiance and our Girl Scout Promise, so I need everybody to stand up please and put your hands over your hearts, okay? And begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're going to do our Girl Scout promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. All right, good job, everybody. That was awesome. I heard you from over here. So y'all did really, really great. So for the next couple of minutes, you can either stand up, sit down, whatever you feel like doing, but we're gonna go over what we're gonna be doing today, okay? All right, so today what we're gonna be doing, we are gonna be doing an activity from the Tobin curriculum. Now, the Tobin curriculum is mainly um, concerning arts. Um, so when we think of arts, we think of theater, we think of music, and we think of painting, right? So that's mainly what we're going to be covering within these Tobin sessions. Um, we've already covered some music. Now we're going to cover some uh, dancing. I mean, who loves to dance here? I mean, I love to dance. Um, and also, uh, we also learned about art, art right? We learned about um, photograph, photography. So uh, again, we're going to be focusing on dancing today and why dancing is so important. Okay, so dancing. When you think of dancing, what do you think of? Um, I think of like dancing with the stars or uh, musical artists. Um, but in definition, what dance is, it is the act of stopping or moving through a series of movements usually in time to music. So in time to music means that you, you, you move to the tempo, you move to the beat of the music, right? Um, so that's what dancing is. Now there's lots and different types of styles of dancing. Um, we have, um, in, have them in the group over here. So um, we have contemporary, we have quick step, waltz, salsa, ballet, hip hop, cha-cha, um, tap dancing, um, you think of it, you name it, that's a style of, of dance, okay? There are so many types of dances that um, that relate to our day-to-day -day life. Um, if you think about it, you know, dance is one way we express ourselves through and our culture, right? Um, we have salsa, cha-cha, cumbia for the Mexican-American um, culture. Um, other Other cultures have their own types of dances, right? Uh, and styles of dance. So um, it, it, dance is also a way of expressing who we are and how we, how, how we feel, right? So if you think of it that way, um, dance really, um, really is a huge part of our, of our lives. And there are so many great benefits that come from dancing. So dancing, it helps with our memory. So it helps boost your memory and prevent and prevents you from developing uh, dementia when you get older. So what dementia is is where we start to forget a lot of stuff that you know that we've had that we've experienced in our lives. It's kind of uh, close to Alzheimer's, but not as bad as Alzheimer's, where we where we forget a, who who how to do things. You know, dementia is where we forget a lot. We for, sometimes we forget. You know. It's it's some it's scary, but you know what? If we dance, we can help prevent that when we get older. Um, number two, it increases your flexibility and it will help ease joint pain and post exercise soreness. So who gets sore when we exercise? I know I do, especially when I haven't exercised in a while. I feel super sore. But when I you know do like little stretches, you know when I dance a little bit. It really helps loosen those muscles, loosen those joints, and it really helps with the soreness. It makes it go away a little bit. So that's where we look to dance to help with that. Also, number three, it helps manage your balance. So frequent dancing will help um, stabilize and gain. You'll, you'll help stabilize 
and gain control of your body. So what that means is it helps um, when we dance, right? Say, for instance, waltz. We have to straighten our posture, right? Dancing helps with our posture. And um, it helps, and we learn how to balance on our feet while we move and while we turn, twist, um, do any other kind of move. We learn how to uh, remain in good posture, okay, with some dance, some styles of dancing. With other styles of dancing, you really don't have to focus on that, but in most, most dances, you have to remember your posture, okay? Your posture is really key, and that's how it helps. Um, number four, it helps with your heart. Um, due to, to breath, breathing techniques. So um, a lot of um, at-risk heart patients, they really do take up dancing because dancing is one way where we learn how to breathe on um, regularly. On um, Unlike where we either run, walk, our heart goes faster, right? It's called cardio, cardio exercise. So when we do cardio, our heart's racing, right? But for patients who need that exercise, who can't really um, afford to have their heart racing at a really max speed, dancing is a really good way that they can exercise their heart. So um, heart uh, dancing and heart and heart patients, it, it's a really good thing. So um, if you know of anybody who's going through some heart issues, then you should advise them, you know, you can go out and dance and have a good time and, and work on your heart as well. So like I said, there's so many benefits to dancing. And today what we're gonna do, we're gonna be playing a game. So this game is called Everybody's Dancing, okay? The materials you'll need for this, um, for this uh, activity, you are going to need um, some tissue paper or paper towels, it's totally up to you, um, a big room to dance, so like in your living room, outside, wherever you feel comfortable, that, that's a perfect space to, do, to, to use. Um, some speaker, a speaker, and some music from your phone. Um, and you can hook it up to your speaker. Now, this can, uh, this game, it's actually a game. So this game is, involves various amounts of people. Um, it's a game where you can have like at least two people playing, okay? So you can't play by yourself, unfortunately, but you can get your mom, dad, brother, sister, and we can all play together um, and continue playing after we're done. Um, so make sure you have lots of people playing with you, okay? So get that speaker, get that music ready, and get your dance and shoes ready, all right? So let's get started. All right, so in order to start this game, we're gonna need a speaker, music, paper towels for everybody in your group, of course, another person to play with, and then we get started. Now, the way this game works is we are going to have somebody control the music. Now, everybody's gonna keep dancing as the music goes, everybody dances and has the, their towel on their head. And as the towel stays on the head, everybody still is in. However, when the music continues to go and your towel falls, sadly, you are out. The rest of the group keeps playing. Okay, is everybody ready? I can't hear y'all, is everybody ready? All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go play the music and then we can get our, our party started, okay? Again, here's Rosie, she's my partner for today. So, um, get get all your partners ready, get your paper towel ready, and put it, place it on your head while somebody starts the music, okay? All right, y'all? Ready? Come on, baby. Continue playing, and I hope you have fun. Keep on dancing. Woo! All right. 
Well, I hope you had an amazing time dancing. I know I did. I love music, so I love dancing. Um, at times, I'm, I'm a little shy with dancing, but this is a way for you to help get those, you know, those nerves shaking and really express yourself. So I really hope you had a good time dancing. And, uh, you know, and I hope you learned a little bit about yourself and what, what music you like to dance to or what style of dances you like to try. So I really hope you had fun with this game. Um, just a reminder, um, this game is within the DAISY uh, Tobin Curriculum Booklet, okay? So if you are interested, remember, you have to complete four activities in order to earn this patch for the Tobin Arts, uh, Tobin Endowment uh, patch, okay? So please, please um, take take this activity and the other activities that we do, and if you wanna do another activity other than this activity, then that's totally fine. There's different activities within the booklet that you can absolutely try with your, with, with your brothers or sisters, okay? Um, so I'm really excited that you like this. Remember, four activities to get this patch, and this is the, within the DAISY curriculum, okay? All right, so remember, every, every activity we do, we always have to think about what we've learned, right? So here's some questions for you to go over with your family um, or with your friends, okay? So we have five questions today. So if you would like to get a paper and a pencil, you can pause the video right now and you can go get that pen, paper and pencil. Um, but right now, we're going to get started, okay? All right, so question number one. Did you need a lot of energy to dance? Why or why not? I know we go through the day, you know, tired, not knowing what to do, bored. Where do you get that energy from? Um, when we did this activity, did you have a lot of energy at the beginning? Why did you and why didn't you? Uh, why didn't you? So, uh... Just make sure we, we look at that, okay? Number two, what gives you energy to dance? So a lot of us remember we talked about in the HEB curriculum how nutrition helps uh, helps feed up the body of energy. Um, so if we, did you eat something? Do you eat something before you go dancing? When you hear the music, does it, does it trigger something in your mind, like happy thoughts and you just wanna dance? What makes you wanna dance? What gives you that energy, okay? Number three, what is your favorite style of dance? Okay, so remember we talked about different styles. We talked about ballet, salsa, cha-cha, hip-hop, tap dance, contemporary. What is your favorite style of dance? You can honestly look it up on, on you know, if, you don't, if, my, if I haven't mentioned it here, you can look it up on the internet, on Google, and you can see other st styles of dancing. Um, you can go on YouTube and look it up and see if you like it or not. Okay, um, number four, what is your favorite dance move? I know a lot of uh, days, uh, you know, in quarantine and everything, uh, a lot of us look at TikTok, right? TikTok is really cool. So I know a lot of us look at those dances and um, we like certain moves. I know, you know, when I was growing up, we had the, um, we had the cha-cha slide, those moves. We also had, um, the Boots Good and Boogie, um, those are certain moves. Uh, what else? We have like the, the Superman um, or um, the Snap Your Fingers, um, the Dougie. Those are certain moves that you can think of um, that, um, you know, may not be relevant to you today, but, you know, any other moves that you can think of uh, that may be your favorite, okay? Um, number five, name one dance move that is good, uh, name one thing dance is good for. So remember we talked about the benefits of dancing. What is one good thing that you learn that dance can do for you? Remember we talked about it benefiting the heart, your memory. Um, we also talked, uh, we also, I didn't mention this, but it also says that it's good for stress relief. Um, it's also good for people who have depression, who need that energy. Um, so um, if there's any other benefit that dance gives you that I didn't mention, please let us know in the comments below. Um, also, I would love to see all your awesome dance moves, your video dance, so send uh, your videos. Um, so I would love to see you in the comments. Um, write down all your answers from the questions, maybe a video of you dancing. 
Um, it's totally up to you, but we would love to hear from you. What did you like about this video? What didn't you like? What would you want us to teach y'all? Um, let us know. Um, um, and that's it for today. Remember, um, put uh, a Girl Scout Lisa place cleaner than they found it. So if you had to move some stuff around with your parents, um, help them put the stuff back um, to, you know, always put stuff back where you found it. So um, help them out, do that. Also, um, make sure uh, you sing the Make New Friends song um, if, you, if you would like. And then after that, you're pretty much done with the activity. I really hope you had an amazing time. I know I did. I love to dance, like I said. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see you on the next video. All right, you have a good day. Stay safe, um, wash your hands, um, stay socially distant. Just be safe, everybody, okay? And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.